Okay, today we are working on 1.7, and this is basically the old school way to add. We've already talked about the break apart strategy before. We talked about how to estimate or round. Today is just the old school, traditional way of using place value to add. Okay, so let's go over a couple examples and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you look at number two, five plus one is six. Then you look over to the next place value, which is the tens place. Five plus four is nine. And two plus three in the hundreds place is five. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. We did not have to do any carrying there. Let's look at number three to the ones place value. Nine plus five is 14. This is where you need to carry the one over the tens place. Then you move over to the tens place. Nine plus seven is 16 plus one is 17. Once again, carrying the one over to the hundreds place value. Now in the hundreds place value, four plus one is five, plus three is eight. So there's a couple examples there. My students just finished working on six through 11. So I will show them seven and eight, and then you'll have four problems to help you with your homework tonight. All right, we have 654 plus 263, and I'm writing this vertical, which basically means up and down, so that it's easier to add. Four plus three is seven. Five plus six is 11, and then you have to carry that one over the hundreds place. Six plus one is seven, plus two is nine. Like I tell my students, please circle your answer. So it's easy to see where it is on your page. All right, number eight. Ooh, this is a three digit or a, um, a larger problem because it involves three numbers. But the process is still the same. You're just adding more numbers. Nine plus one is 10 plus two is 12, carry that one, keeping my work nice and organized on the page, crisp and clean. Two plus one is three, plus three is six, plus one is seven, there's no carrying there. And then the last place value, the hundreds, three plus four is seven, plus one is eight. So you can see it's the exact same method, the old school style. There's just more numbers. So hopefully those four examples will help you with your homework tonight. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson 1.7.